how we do it. The first thing you need is the right tool. Then you get the right portion. Start at one point and spread it evenly. Don't forget the small areas around the edges. And it's done. Prestige Margarine is fortified with vitamins A, D and E to help your family grow strong and healthy. Available in two delicious flavors, vanilla and original. Prestige Margarine, spread the fun. Welcome back uh, to the show. Remember, this is Kenya Spelling Bee TV show coming to you from the capital city, Nairobi, courtesy of Standard Media Group, Daima Milk and Kappa Oil Refineries and the Ministry of Education, if I can't forget that. Now, we have also to know that the show is powered by Witabix. And now, as we get to round three, which is the final round of the first episode of this show, we are going to have eliminations straight if you miss the spelling of a word. And for those who are on stage, one of the spellers, if we jump or we skip, one of the spellers don't get confused because there's one speller who will not have questions from us in this third round. Okay, straight into action, contestant number 125 coming to you. Please do spell for us the word addressee. Pardon? Do spell for us the word addressee. It's a noun derived from the word address a person that a letter is addressed to, addressee. A, D, D, R, E, S, E, I. That is incorrect. Unfortunately, you have to step out of the stage. That was good trial. Contestant, number one two six are you okay yes good please do spell for us the word heart a beast heart a beast can you use it in a sentence the origin of the word is dutch in a sentence i saw a heart a beast in a south african forest meaning an african antelope with the long face large shaped horns and a fawn colored or reddish coat Pitch. A-R-T-A-R-T-E-S-T. -E -E Incorrect. The spelling for that word is H-A-R-T-E-B-E-E-S-T. -E -E Unfortunately, you two have to step out of the stage. Now, Good. we move to speller number 127. Are you ready? Yes. Very ready? Yes. Well, can you spell for us the word pianist? Pianist. P-I-A. N I S T Correct P I A N I S T Correct Now your next word A whip it or whip it Pardon. Whip it that is a tricky word Whip it or whip it I'll read for you the meaning and be very attentive a small, slender breed of dog, similar to a greyhound. Whip it. W. T. Incorrect. The right spelling for that word is W H I P P. Whip it or whip it. It's a word with two acceptable pronunciations. Now you have to step down. You have to step down and Corazon. Contestant number 129. Please do spell for us the word clientele. 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 It's a word of French origin. All the customers or clients of a shop restaurants or an organization c-l-i-e-n-t-e-l missed it narrowly missed it narrowly unfortunately you two have to step out of the podium contestant number one three zero 
this is the word you have to spell uh, for us. Aardvark. 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 Example in a sentence. An animal from southern, uh, that is the meaning, an animal from southern Africa that has a long nose and tongue. It's a noun of South African Dutch origin. Uh, in a sentence, the aardvark was eating insects. A D V A C K. Come again. A D V A C K. Unfortunately, that is incorrect. Aardvark, as it is pronounced, has uh, a. Uh, sorry, uh, uh, that is A A R D V A R K. Aardvark. That is the spelling of that noun. Now you have to step out of the podium as well. Now. To speller number one three one. Your word is immigrant. Immigrant. Mm -hmm. Now, an immigrant is a person who has come to live permanently in a country that is not their own. I am M I G R A N T. Correct. Immigrant, I M M I G R A N T. Your second word is macaque. It's not a very common word, but remember what we always say about spelling. Can you spell the word macaque? In fact, it's from French or Portuguese. Can you spell it or you want the meaning? The meaning of the word macaque is a type of monkey. It's a type of monkey that lives in parts of Africa and also Asia. Macaque. M-A-C-H-E-R-K. Macaque. Incorrect. Incorrect. The right spelling is M-A-C-A-Q-U-E. Macaque. It's unfortunate, but that was a good try, and you are close, but words can be tricky. And as I always say, elsewhere, nobody is perfect. So you can step down. All right, close but not close enough. Almost doesn't count, but you'll get there. Contestant number one, three, two. How are you feeling? How are you feeling? You're, you're among the ones who are going to be giving us the determined winner. You know that? All right, so take your time and do spell for us this word. Masupio. Masupio. Please use it in a sentence. In a sentence, a kangaroo is a masupio. It is a word of Greek or a Latin origin. Uh, the meaning, any animal that carries its young in a pocket of skin on the mother's stomach. M -O -S -O -R -P -I -A -F. Not correct. Unfortunately, you have missed it. Please do step out of the podium. The correct spelling for that word is M A R S U P I. A L. Well, but you can make it later. It's not the end of the road. Now we have the next speller, 133. Can you spell the word croupier? Croupier, it's a tricky one. A croupier is a person whose job is to be in charge of a gambling table. A gambling table, that person who is in charge of a gambling table. And it's from French. C R U-P-I-E. Incorrect. Croupier is C-R-O-U-P-I-E-R. -E Just step down. But that's a wonderful try. I say wonderful because I can see your age and I know the word is tricky for anybody. And Mr. Nzioka, the patron of Kenya National Spelling Bee, who is also present right here, would bear me witness that certain words for spelling contests are very tricky or even hard. But what does it give you as a speller? The chance you have is you go and read more and find out how to spell the word. That is also the trick behind it. Okay, and now finally to contestant number one, three, four in this third round. Safin, how are you feeling? Good. Are you confident about this one? All right, please do spell for us the word hedgehog. H-E-D-G-E-H-O-G. -E Come again. H-E-D-G-E-H-O-G. -E Good, correct. Safin stays within this round. Willis, 
this has been indeed better than a rubber meeting <laughs> the road. Yes, Corazon. Now, you realize that we now have two contestants on stage, and this should be the end of round three. But as we have the end of round three, the Kenyan National Spelling Bee management remembered what exactly they are known for best. They don't want children to miss prizes, and they always say everybody is a champion in his or her own way. Now that we have the winner, <coughs> and we have number two, that is the person taking the second place, we have those who have been taking records. They are going to tell us who should take position three. You'll have to assess it. If we have it, you let us know so that we can know the person who is getting the prize for number three. Because already we have the winner and we have the runner up. From the look of things, we have two contestants tying. And for that matter, we have to get the winner of the third prize. And for that, Corazon, you have to get them back to the yes, stage. Yes, we do have to get them back to the stage because we have to break the tie. So we would like to call back contestant number 127 back to the stage and contestant number 131 back to the stage. Can I see them? Contestant number 127 and contestant. Please just come back to the podium. Just come back. All right. A round of applause for these uh, intelligent, young spellers we have this morning. All right, and now to break the tie, contestant number 127. This is a word that we have interacted with uh, before. We'll take it again so that we see just how keen we are on this show this morning. Auctioneer, a person whose job is to direct an auction, uh, auction goods that are on sale. The word is a noun. It is derived from the word auction, which is of Latin origin. Auctioneer. Qualified, you are not to restart. Uh, the, your time is also up, and you cannot restart after you've already started spelling. Uh, contestant number one, two, seven. That was a trial from your end. Contestant number one, two, eight. Please spell for us the word flibatijibit. Flibatijibit. F L I B B E. T apostrophe S H A B E T T E Liberty Shabit. Incorrect, but the confidence is overwhelming. That was a proper trial. Number 131. Can you spell the word Colobus? Colobus. That is a type of a monkey. Colobus. Colobus. C O L O B. Correct. Colobus. C O L O B U S. Back to you. Speller number 127. You now have a word that is fairly tricky or complex because you are given a simpler word earlier. We are balancing the equation in terms of the competition. Can you spell the word Konosa? Konosa. It's from French. Konosa. Definition. An expert on matters involving the judgment of beauty, quality, or skill in art, food, or music. That expert is a konosa. Can you spell that word? Konosa. C O N. N O C That is incorrect. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we have 
the person or the contestant who is taking position three. The position three is already with us here. And that is number? Contestant number one, three, one. You qualify and have broken the tie. Please, a round of applause for contestant number one, three, one. Contestant number one, two, seven. Just step out of the podium. That was a worthy effort you put there. An amazing experience indeed. We have contestants who've gone through the grilling process that was rubber meeting the road. We already talked about it being as if a bump is ahead of a driver who is slowing down. All in all, we have come to these three wonderful, young, intelligent and confident fellas. Please just uh, step to, to the podium. Step, step, step uh, to the podium. Please appreciate this young, wonderful, intelligent <laughs> lady and gentleman. Just come here. All right, I would, I would like to invite the Kenya Spelling Bee team to come forward with the uh, gifts, the valuable gifts that we promised them. You should also know that besides uh, position one, two, and three getting gifts, the 10 contestants are each going to take away something home with them. Willis. You've taken position three. Can we give him a big hand? <laughs> so you can have your prize. Congratulations. Now we go on to appreciate position two. Position two, that is contestant number one, three. Is it one, three, four? Okay. Yes, the young man here. Uh, you can be small but big in terms of the voltage in your brain. Clearly, clearly. That. So clearly, don't underrate two, them. The runner up. So, can you take your prize? <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. Now, as you can see, we have position one right here. It is a wonderful show that there's gender balance here, Willis. You can see, right? There's a proper gender balance here. And I'm, I'm a proud lady standing next to the winner. Who is that? And you must be coveting the gifts which are being presented here. Besides the gift hampers, we have a laptop that has been awarded to this young man. You can imagine what this young man is going to do with the laptop. Uh, at, at, uh, I mean, within this era of new curriculum. Now, awarding position one, contestant number one, two, eight. Please, a round of applause. How do you feel? How, how are you feeling right now in your heart? I feel great. You feel great. What is it that uh, propelled you to position one? Hard work and believing in myself. Congratulations. We're looking forward to meeting you in the grand finale where we're going to be meeting the other finalists. Yes, she can now receive uh, the first prize from Mr. Nzioka, of, uh, that is the patron of Kenya National Spelling Bee. And uh, young girl, cheers. Congratulations on your winning of the first prize. Now, viewers, you have to remember that this girl will be battling it out with the other winners of that is episode two episode three four and five when we'll reach the sixth round but that being the case don't forget that the second episode of kenya spelling b tv show will be on air next saturday same time same station that is ktn home and the same spirit on behalf of my co-host corazon safan I'm Willis Ocheng, and together we say, see you next Saturday. using new world-class technology. The all-new Dyma-flavored milk lets your child grow with non-stop fun and nutrition.